Hello everyone. In this session, we will study what is Quinn McCluskey minimization technique. How to simplify the Boolean expression using Quinn McCluskey minimization technique. As the number of variables increase, the simplification using Carnot map becomes difficult. Therefore, some automatic or computer driven simplification routine is desirable. Therefore, we use Quinn McCluskey minimization technique, which is the algorithm suitable for the computer solution. Now, what are the steps required to simplify using Quinn McCluskey minimization technique? The first step is we arrange all the main terms in a list of increasing order so that groups of the terms contain the same number of ones. So we have main terms which have different number of ones. Therefore, the first step is we have to arrange the main terms which contain the same number of ones. Then we compare the adjacent groups. The group n is compared with group n plus 1 so that they differ in only one position. Then we compare and combine such main terms in the next step. The same process is repeated until no further combination of main term group is possible. Finally, we create the prime implicant table to obtain the final expression. Let us solve one example. Simplify the following using Quinn McCluskey minimization technique. The problem given is D is equal to F of ABCD, sigma of 0, 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, and 15. These are the min terms given. So, first let us write the binary equivalent of these min terms. These all min terms are arranged or written as given in the problem that is 0 is there, 1 is there, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14 and 15. So let us write the binary equivalent of each of these min terms. 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0. Next, we have 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 2 is 0, 0, 1, 0. 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. Then we have 6, 0, 1, 1, 0. 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. Then we have 8. 1 0 0 0 9 1 0 0 1 14 1 1 1 0 and finally 15 1 1 1 1 after writing this we have to arrange the mean terms which contain the same number of ones for example, you consider this, you consider this, how many ones are there in this? There are no ones in this. Therefore, this forms one group. So similarly, if you consider this, there is a single one here. Similarly, for 2, there is a single one and for 8, there is a single one. These three together form next group. Similarly, we have to consider two ones. This is two ones. This is two ones. And again for nine also we have two ones. Therefore, this forms another group. Like this, we have to arrange the mean terms in the groups of ones in the increasing order. Let us do that.
so let us consider the first group that is zeroth group so this is group 0 and what is a min term min term is 0 and we have 0 0 0 0 similarly we have to have next is we have to have the min terms which contain 1 1 it means that 1 then we have 2 and then we have 8 so these form next group that is 1 2 and 8 this form the group number 1 1 is 0 0 0 1 2 is 0 0 1 0 and 8 is 1 0 0 0 so next we have to consider the mean terms which have two ones that is 3 then 6 then we have 9 therefore it is 3 6 and 9 this is group number 2 3 is 0 0 1 1 6 is 0 1 1 0 and 9 is 1 0 0 1 Next, we have to consider the mean terms which have three ones. That is 7 and 14. The third group is the mean terms which have three ones. That is 7 and 14. 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1 and 14 is 1, 1, 1, 0. Finally, we have one more min term left that is 15 which contain 4 ones that forms the next group that is fourth group. The min term is 15 and we have all the ones over here. Now, we have arranged all the min terms in a groups which contain the same number of ones that is in the increasing order. Next step is we have to compare and combine the groups so that they differ in a single position. Let us hear this is group 0, group 1, group 2, group 3 and group 4. What we are doing here is we are comparing this group with this group. It means that 0 min term is compared with the first min term. 0 is compared with the second min term. 0 is compared with the eighth min term. Then we compare group 1 with group 2. The same process is repeated. Next group 2 is compared with group 3 and then group 3 is compared with group 4. Then we combine. When we combine, we combine the min terms only when they differ in a single position. Let us do that. So when we compare or when we combine 0 and that is 0 min term and the first min term. 0, 1. What is 0? It is 0, 0, 0, 0. Then what is 1? 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, if you see these two, these three are same, they differ in the single position. Therefore, we can combine the main terms 0 and 1. So, this is group 0. Then, what, we, what, are, what will be the values of A, B, C, D where the bit position differ? That is marked as dash. And remaining bits are marked as as it is. So since there is a change in the bit position here, this is marked as the dash and remaining 3 are zeros. Therefore, A, B, C, D are written as 0, 0, 0 and dash. Next is, we compare 0 with 2. Then we compare 0 with 8. 0, 2. What is 0, 2? 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0 
and 2 is 0 0 1 0 now can we combine these two we can combine these two because there is a single bit change or it the main terms change only in one position it is here therefore we can write it as 0 0 dash 0 we can combine 0 and 2 and we write it as 0 0 dash and 0 and one more thing you have to remember when we combine the min terms we have to tick mark for example here we have combined 0 and 1 since 0 and 1 are combined this 0 and this 1 are tick marked and here we have combined 0 and 2 therefore we have to tick mark 0 0 is already tick marked and then So next is 0 has to be checked with 8. We have to check whether they can be combined. Let us check 0 and 8, 0 and 8. 0 is 0, 0, 0, 0 and 8 is 1, 0, 0, 0. So here also we can combine because there is a single bit change and that has to be represented as dash and remaining are Three, three zeros so 0 comma 8 dash 0 0 0 now we have to take mark 8 0 and 0 and 8 is combined over here therefore we get it as dash 0 0 and 0 now we have checked the group 0 with group 1 this is group 0 and this one is group 1 we have checked for all the combination 0 1 then 0 2 and then 0 8 then we obtained 0 0 0 dash 0 0 dash 0 and dash 0 0 0 the next is we have to compare group 1 with group 2 we have to repeat the same process So when we compare group 1 with group 2, what are the different combinations we get? Now we have to check for 1, 3, 1, 6, 1, 9. Similarly, 2, 3, 2, 6 and 2, 9. Then 8, 3, 8, 6 and 8, 9. Let us do that. Let us check for group 1. What are the group 1 combinations? Let us say we are checking for 1 and 3. 1 is 0, 0, 0, 0, sorry, 0, 0, 0, 1 and 3 is 0, 0, 1 and 1. Even this is possible because there is a single bit change. See this is same, this is same this is same and this for this there is a change therefore we can write it as 0 0 dash and 1 we can combine 1 and 3 and we write the variables as 0 0 dash and 1 we need to tick mark so 1 is already tick marked now tick mark 3 now you need to check whether Next combination is possible 1 and 6. Let us check for 1 and 6. 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1 and 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. See here there is one change. This is the second change. This is the third change. So this is not possible. 1 and 6 we cannot combine. We can combine the main terms only when there is a single bit change or they differ in a single position so 1 and 6 is not possible next we can check for 1 and 9 
वन इज जीरो 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 वन एंड नाइन इज एंड नाइन इज वन जीरो जीरो वन सो देर इज अ सिंगल चेंज दैट इज जीरो वन दीज थ्री बेट्स रिमेन द सेम देर फोर वी कैन राइट इट एज वन एंड नाइन एंड द चेंज पोजिशन इज डैश देन जीरो जीरो वन like this we have to check for the other combinations so the other combinations include 2 3 then we need to check with 2 6 then we need to check with 2 and 9 similarly 8 3 8 6 and 8 9 and once we combine the groups we need to tick mark see here we have combined 1 and 9 and we need to tick mark 9 already 1 is tick marked so 9 has to be tick marked when we check for the other combinations we get the combinations as 2 and 3 2 and 3 we can combine so 2 and 3 is given as 0 0 One dash. See if you combine two and three. See this is two and this is three. Zero zero same. Zero zero same. One one same. And they change in a single bit. Zero and one. Therefore, we can combine two and three. Similarly, we can combine two six. The same com the same rules apply for this also, and we get. The variable says zero dash one zero, and this since two and six are combined, we need to tick mark. Similarly, eight and nine are to be combined. We get the variables a, b, c, d as one zero zero and dash. Therefore, eight and nine are to be tick marked. Eight is already tick marked. Even the nine is also tick marked. now we have checked for all the combinations the next step is we have to compare now 2 and 3 the second group with the third group the guidelines remains the same you have to group the mean terms or you can combine the mean terms only when there is a single position change they differ in a single position so when you compare that you get it as group 2 with 3 7 that is see here 3 7 is to be compared then 3 14 is to be compared then 6 7 6 14 9 7 and 9 14 so when we satisfy those conditions those are to be written over here if you compare 3 and 7 see here this is 0 this is 0 0 1 there is a change 1 1 there is no change this is 1 1 there is no change so there is change over here 0 and 1 therefore we can group these two together and we can write it as 0 dash 1 and 1 since it is combined tick mark it similarly we get the groups of 6 and 7 that is 0 1 1 dash next is 6 14 dash 1 1 you have to tick mark as and when you combine 6 7 is tick marked already next is 6 14 has to be tick marked next we combine group 3 with group 4 again apply the same rules when you apply the same rules in the group 3 you get it as the combinations of 7 and 15 you get the variables as dash 1 1 1 Next is fourteen and fifteen, one, 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 and 
डैश सो दिस इज कवर्ड एंड टेक मार्केट नाउ इन दिस स्टेप वी हैव कंबाइंड और वी हैव कंपेयर्ड एंड कंबाइंड द मेन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्रुप जीरो विथ ग्रुप वन ग्रुप वन विथ ग्रुप टू ग्रुप टू विथ ग्रुप थ्री एंड ग्रुप थ्री विथ ग्रुप फोर इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप वॉट वी डू इज वी कंपेयर दिस ग्रुप दिस ग्रुप विद द फर्स्ट ग्रुप देन फर्स्ट ग्रुप इज कंपेयर्ड विद द सेकेंड ग्रुप देन सेकेंड ग्रुप इज कंपेयर्ड विद द थर्ड ग्रुप द प्रोसेस इज द सेम प्रोसेस इज रिपीटेड सो वेन वी कंपेयर द ग्रुप्स लाइक दिस we have to see that the dash has to be into the same position here when you see this when you compare this group 0 with group 1 main terms our first step is to see the dash has to be into the same position see here this group with this group now if you see this group and this group the dash is into the same position the condition is the dash has to be into the same position and there has to be a one bit or one bit has to change there has to be a change in only one position then only we can combine such mean terms and now the mean terms will be in the group of 4 so for example here we are combining 0 and 2 3 the same process has to be repeated for all the other uh, combinations also if you check 0 1 and 2 3 the dash is into the same position this is the dash and this is also the dash next 0 0 this also 0 and 0 and there is only one position change zero and one if such condition exist then we can combine those mean terms or those groups and we have to write as combined group of four mean terms which is group 0 now we can write it as 0 1 2 and 3 now if you see this where there is a bit change or where the bit is changing from 0 to 1 that has to be replaced by dash so this has to be replaced by dash and dash is as it is dash and these two are zeros now we get a b c d as 0 0 dash and dash and now tick mark this also and this also next we have to check again where the dash is same now this dash this dash you have to check in the second group no where that exist now this dash for 0 8 this dash is here apart from the dash being in the same position we need to check for the bit change there has to be only one position change then only we can combine such groups so again if you see this if you check 0 8 and 19 the dash is into the same position this is zero this is zero this is zero this is zero and there is only one position change zero to one therefore we can combine such group and when we combine such group we have to mark it as tick let us write that combined group which is zero and zero one eight nine and how do we write that Zero one eight nine is dash zero zero and dash. 
so this has to be dash 0 0 and dash that is 0 1 8 9 similarly once this is over we need to check for the next group the group 1 has to be checked with group 2 next group 2 has to be checked with group 3 we have to follow the same condition and when we combine we have to tick mark now when we follow the same rules we get it as the next group mean terms we will get it as 2 6 3 and 7 our variables will be 0 dash 1 and dash similarly second group is 6 7 14 15 our variables a b c d are dash 1 1 dash now we have combined all the groups therefore we need to tick mark all this main terms so we have obtained in the next step four different groups these are the four different groups and these are the different variables finally we come to the prime implicant table this prime implicant table consists of the first column as the pi terms prime implicant terms then the decimal list here and then all the mean terms are written over here which are given in the problem in the problem we have the mean terms as 0 1 2 3 6 7 8 9 14 and 15 we need to write which are the different pi terms if you see this what we have we have dash here we have dash here so two zeros are present with respect to a and b therefore the pi term for this is a bar and b bar what is the decimal value the decimal value is 0 1 2 3 similarly for this the decimal is 0 1 8 9 and what is the pi term it is b bar and c bar and this the decimal list is 2 6 3 7 and our pi term is a bar and c and this is finally bc our main terms are or the decimal list is 6 7 14 and 15 that has to be included into the prime implicant table a bar b bar is our decimal values are 0 1 2 and 3 b bar c bar is next one 0 1 8 9 then a bar c 2 6 3 7 then b c 6 7 14 and 15 then cross mark these decimal list these decimal values with respect to the min terms given 0 1 2 and 3 next is 0 1 8 9 then 2 6 3 7 then 6 7 14 15 next step is we need to find out in which column of the main terms there is a single cross bar and that has to be encircled see here if you see this eighth column there is a single cross mark similarly for the ninth column there is a single cross mark similarly for 14 it is single and for 15 also it is single we need to circle this circle this circle this this and this this indicates that the circle indicates that they are the essential prime implicants and these essential prime implicants these prime implicants cover which are the which different main terms see here this covers 8 9 and as well as 0 and 1 similarly this covers we have to find out these two covers 
which mean terms this essential prime implicant covers 14 15 and 6 and 7 now which are left out only 2 and 3 are left out see this 2 and 3 is covered by this also that is this and as well as this so this a bar b bar is one prime implicant and as well as a bar c a bar c is another prime implicant so these essential prime implicants are combined with either a bar b bar or a bar c therefore we get two solutions for this particular problem we can write the final expression as d is equal to our essential prime implicants are b bar c bar and b c b bar c bar or b c see our condition is we need to cover all the min terms see these two and three can be covered either by a bar b bar or they can be covered by b c sorry not b c a bar c the first solution will be d is equal to b bar c bar plus b c plus a bar b bar or d is equal to b bar c bar or b c or a bar c so these two are the two solutions for this particular problem our minimized expression is d is equal to b bar c bar or b c or a bar b bar or d is equal to b bar c bar or b c or a bar c the same thing can be verified through the Carnot map it is the same procedure for Carnot map let us mark the ones this is one this is one 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 then we have these two ones one 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 and one group the main terms as we have discussed earlier these two these two can be grouped together and it is a single group similarly this can be grouped together these four can be grouped together and these four can be grouped together now which is essential prime implicant this is essential prime implicant and this is b bar c bar which is essential prime implicant similarly this is essential prime implicant which is b c and what is the expression for this this is only the prime implicant a bar b bar which is pi this is a bar c which is pi so our final expression has to be clubbed either with b bar c bar or b c either we can use this prime implicant or these two together along with this prime implicant which is same as the obtain which is same as what we have obtained with the quinn mccluskey technique this is how we solve the problems or we minimize the problems using quinn mccluskey technique thank you